How to do everybody, my name is Zane Sawyers and today I'll be providing you all with the instructions for this week's virtual project entitled Barnwood Sign. And then within each individual kit you all picked up from the extension office we have your two types of sandpaper, your stain, the foam brush, and then the piece of wood. And then to get into the finer details of the kit, we're going to be using clear satin, 220 grit sandpaper, and then 320 grit sandpaper. And then to start off this project, go ahead and get your piece of wood and such, and go ahead and grab the 220 first. The 220 is the roughest, so we need to use that first. And then pretty much just go up and down with the grain of the wood, like this. And then once you've completed this part with of the sanding of the 220, and now also be sure to take your time with the 220 part. Since this is the roughest, this is what's going to get the real rotten and weathered part of the wood off. That way it prepares us to use the 320 to make it super smooth. And then throughout sanding, go ahead and be sure to have a towel right next to you to clean out the wood. And then now that we've got the 220 taken care of, go ahead and switch over to the 320 and do the same thing as you do with the 220. Go up and down with the grain of the wood. And then once you've completed that step as well, and then this, the 320 won't take as long, mainly because this is just polishing up. The 320 is what's gonna give you that super soft glass-like feel. And then once again, be sure to go ahead and clean the piece of wood. And then go ahead and shake up the stain a little bit because you, you don't want it to be separated. You want to mix it up a tad bit. Go ahead and open her up. And then with the foam brush, go ahead and insert it into the jar. But don't soak the whole brush. With wood stain, a little goes a long way. So go ahead and just insert the very tip of it just a little bit into the stain. And then pretty much all you, all you got to do is just go follow the wood grain and just apply it lightly. And then for those who might have a, a little more rotten wood, just go ahead and take the tip of it and put it into the little valleys and crevices of the wood. And then once you've went, went ahead and applied it over your area, go ahead and wait a couple hours or set it outside in the sun. That way it dries up completely. And then with this old rotten wood, it's dry so the wood is going to suck up some of the stain. And then once you've taken care of all your coats, it might take two to three coats to go ahead and get it your final piece. But once you're done, you're pretty much all taken care of. The sanding process, it's very easy. Always remember to use the lower numbers first because they're the ones that grind the wood off the most. And then use the higher numbers last because that's going to give you that good, super smooth glass-like feeling. And then once you're done with your stain, you just pretty much get to sit back and enjoy it like so.